because we have enough problems with this. You're door. sitting at a green I light. Been, Ew! I was busy! And, and you pull you over to the side. Looking at a paper? You have no proof of that. I can see through your window. You're reading a you, piece of paper. I was, I was dizzy and I got scared and said maybe the medicine's making me dizzy. Then so you I pull over. I'm not calling the police. You call Give them. Give me your ID number. I'm, I'm not giving you my ID number. I don't have to give you my I ID number. I'm going to report you. Go right ahead. You're blocking traffic. I don't care. <laughs> I, it's just like weird behavior. If the story you're like telling is true, then why are you so defensive? So you're like, no, I was doing the right safe thing. Get off my back. That's it, that's all. I don't know, something tells me that um, she was just looking at a piece of paper randomly at a green light. Nice, good time, good time to do it. Karen in first class part two. Hopefully part two is the juicier of the two parts. Who are you, my school teacher? Playing that loud music to disturb everyone. Your kind does not fit into first class. It's what, what, does that, what does that even mean? What does that mean? What does respect. that mean? What, okay. what does that mean? Karen's talking about people needing to show respect while she's just like harassing somebody who's just trying to take a train trip. A train trip, that was kind of hard to say. <laughs> oh, Walmart, where all the Karens flock to. I feel like they hold their meetings here. Imagine yelling like that in public. Like, how do you not feel so embarrassed? You know, it would be so embarrassing to just scream like that. So weird. Poor employee. Just dealing with it like a champ, though. You're not gonna go anywhere. We're gonna call the police. Yeah, you know, I'll have to you when you assault someone, you'll go to jail. Good, good. Sure, okay, when the police get it, we'll see. Yeah? We'll see, okay? Yeah. Okay, yes, we will. We'll see. Okay, good. You shoplift here. You can't shoplift here. Yeah, why not? Why not? Yeah, why not? You don't shoplift here. You can go somewhere else, but not here. Fine. Dang, man. This is a classic, cl a classic Karen clip. Just, you can't. You can't. She was caught. I'm pretty sure she was arrested after this. You can't steal. You can't steal there. You can't steal anywhere. And I feel bad for the guy who has to deal with it. You know what I mean? Like, just shouldn't have to deal with that when you just are trying to work at a store. Just shouldn't be your job. Here are the top 10 rudest Karens to ever exist. I am recording right now. So I just want verification that the only way for me to get a refund on those two crispy chicken sandwiches that are not edible is for you to do a refund, which will take three to five, possibly seven to 10 business days for me to get a credit back and then for you to recharge me. So basically charging me $60 for food that's not edible instead of giving me a refund. And I am, again, I am recording because this is not customer service. You too, I'm not playing, I'm sick of And I, again, I would like the number for the district manager because I will be reaching out to the district manager and, and forwarding this, this recording on. It's just like, lady, that's how, it's the bank. It takes time to process. It's not because we're just not giving you your money back for three to five business days. We'd give you your money right now if it meant that you would stop talking. Things just take time. That's, sorry, refunds take a little time. I don't know. It's not instant all the time. Karen tries to get on the ride from the exit. Ooh, foolproof plan. Let's see if it plays out. No! Didn't seem to work out. Looks like she got caught immediately. I love the magical music in the background again in this one. This is, yeah, we got a situation behind the mythical mushroom. Let's get some backup behind the uh, mythical mushrooms ASAP. Yeah, that's, uh, this is wild. This, again, I've seen this happen. I used to work at a theme park in Canada. I'm not gonna say what one it is, but you know, it's wonderful. This would happen a lot. This happens a lot. People think they're, geniuses and yeah you know what what a great ride to get kicked out for you know looks like a real thrilling one really worth the heist to go through the back Disneyland where dreams come true magical the magic kingdom watch this woman magically disappear from the park with her child there you go abracadabra you got kicked out next right. if 
Everything's like yellow said, and black. Man, this is a very I'm the next level savage, cinematic right? story. Y'all already know what the fuck it is, man. Stop playing with me, yo. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if we're allowed to show the ending where he gets shucked off screen, but uh, yeah, that's one way to handle um, a speech, just an impromptu speech. Imagine if I was at Bulk Bar and I was like, yeah, check, check this out. And I just went up and just like announced myself and just started like listing my aspirations and like my plan to like get ahead in life while someone's trying to pay to the counter. I'm like, pardon me, it's gonna scooch up on here. He jumped really far down, I'm all, that's all I'm saying. He really, when he hopped down, it was like, yee. He fell for a while, that's all I'm saying. I'm not touching your trucks, my mom. Okay, uh, then I won't touch your trucks. Hey, okay. I won't touch oh, your trucks. Oh, she's thirsty. Me at 4 a.m. So thirsty. Ugh! Ugh! Sans crystal light, too. Just going in warm. This is not your truck. It's water that I Okay. This is just like a safety hazard. She is not wearing steel toes, I believe. This is where they filmed Breaking Bad, actually. It's a fun fact. Pop up video. Under duress, you have forced me to sign this. And nice. she's out of breath from yelling. She can't even speak her point. Damage. Well, that's a safety hazard. You don't want to stand behind one of those trucks, because, uh, yeah. I've seen some videos on Reddit where you don't want to stand behind those pallets of very heavy water. I don't know what's going on here. Don't touch people's shit. You're the one with the price thing on your car, you dumb. You I thought it was a dog at first, but it was her hair. It's like Dr. Octavius with those sunglasses on. Real villainous. So, I don't know if we're allowed to air it or I don't know if we're allowed to see it, but that's why I'm here. She said out the window to the person in front, I hope your kids get and then it cuts. So, was she about to say college admission for free? Probably not. Probably something else with a C. That's pretty, uh, that's pretty awful. I can't imagine what's possibly making you this mad in traffic. It's, uh, you know what I mean? Like, I don't have a car. You know what I mean? It'd be a privilege to drive to work. I would love to get stuck in traffic. I'll tell you that for free. I would love to get cut off every day on my way to work in my hot, warm, nice, cozy car. You know what I mean? This is a ring.com. These are always nice and welcoming. Yeah, three knocks will do it. It's got pajamas on, like actual, like, Pajamas from like a 1940s comic. Matching pajamas. Yeah. Give it a few more. Maybe they didn't hear the first. Uh... Yeah, I was gonna say maybe. Uh, yeah, yeah. Imagine if he had the wrong home for whatever he's trying to do. That's it. That's the clip. All right. Well, we gotta break that down and figure that out. I guess that's why. Uh, that's why old TT McWatts is here. So he knocked about 600 times. He was yelling. That's just terrifying. I don't know. I have never had anything like this happen. Have you? You ever had anyone just show up to your door and knock and give you whatever smoke this guy's bringing? Don't open it. You ever hear any knocks that are like beyond? I don't know. Just don't open the door ever again, just to be safe. You know what I mean? This Karen was mad my friend parked in front of her house on a public street, so she egged it. Can't do that. <laughs> so you admit you did something to the car. Yes, I did because you need to move it. You guys don't get to treat me however oh, you want. Okay, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> Like, it's just not the way to deal with it. Also, like, yeah, parking sucks. It's a public, when it's a public street, it always sucks. That's it, that's all. I agree with the annoyance, but like, there's nothing you can do. You gotta pay for a parking space, I guess. You live over there, you need to worry about your yard. Do not spray this because y'all are killing it with your whatever your concoction is. Get away from my house. Do not touch nothing else. This is his fence. I'm about to call him. This sign out. A month ago for them if you guys remember so here's the bush and it's obviously growing on my side right here so and then that's what's on their side she don't live at this house she lives over there I live right here my neighbors live there she lives over there she came all the way across my neighbor's yard came into my yard was on my side when we pulled up spraying shit on my bush then gonna say she has the right to spray and she don't because she don't conjoin with this house she conjoins over there yeah i mean that's the truth if your neighbor has a problem with the bush growing through the fence then that's a neighbor problem but not this lady also with bleach why are we just spraying things with bleach there are other ways to do things <laughs> 
Let's not just spray the earth with bleach. I mean, like, it's just so random. It's just so random. Why, Karen? I'm trying to help you. I'm sorry, but I don't need your help. Y yes, you do, mother. This. You gotta ask me. Okay, I've seen this video before. Like the very beginning seemed maybe a little aggressive, but like fairly normal. But it goes off the rails very quickly. Jesus Christ, I don't all have sinners. to do anything. We're all sinners. Okay. I, he was not, he's not gonna force you, you to do you're it. You're sinning right now. No, I'm not, mother <laughs> You fucking accuser. Get the fuck out of here, you fucking accuser. <laughs> um, you mother fucking accuser. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> is just not good. She is not happy. And I don't think that he got out of there. I think that she was quickly evacuated after. So it just goes off the rails so quickly. You never would have expected it. <laughs> you can't turn it up. No, I'm not turning it up. Why? Because I said so. You're so fucking lame. You can't turn it up. Fine. You can't turn it up. That's perfectly fine. You're annoying as I'm gonna, oh, wait you're... I'm gonna wait you zero stars. <laughs> no, here, here. No, 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 no. I'm fucking kidding. I'll, I don't I'll care. pay you thirty dollars. No, no, you done said it. I'll literally pay you thirty dollars. I'm done. I put up with enough for you. Now, hop out of my car. I'll we pay are you done. thirty bucks. We are done. Oh sh! I don't even really know what happened, but <laughs> it was bad, and thirty bucks was not enough. They were over it. They said, get the heck out. No thanks. Good luck getting to your destination without me. <laughs> this, is... <laughs> this is so annoying. <laughs> He's just doing it to be annoying and it's working so well. That's so funny. Oh, that's just stupid, man. Well. If I was working out and somebody was eating a burger, I'd be like, oh, you know what? It's just motivation and I'm doing this so that later when I have the burger, no worries. You know what I'm saying? No, it's absolutely amazing. I bet you wish you were here now. <laughs> I don't like ice cream, Hannah. You don't like ice cream? No. You just said pistachio. If I had to eat an ice cream for the rest of my <laughs> life, it would be pistachio flavor, but I don't like cold food. Do you like brownies? Mm, not so much. But you know, we'll get to know each okay. other, Hannah. Okay. And you'll find out a lot. Hannah being sent. Imagine that. Oh, business business correspondent. Oh, what, what's your job? I could be sent to an ice cream factory and you actually like an ice cream parlor. Do you think you rather brought the tone down? Oh, I'll be quiet. It. Come on. <laughs> well, uh, Hannah was, I apologize. It's working hard doing the story and then. Uh, time now for a look at the headlines where you are this morning. Oh, that was so awkward. I mean, I agree. I agree. I would just tell the world that I loved ice cream just for the segment. You know what I mean? Also, they're like there at the like, uh, presumably this other person is like somebody who like works at this ice cream place or maybe even owns it. <laughs> so to just be like, no, I'm not an ice cream person or a brownie person. I don't want to go there. <laughs> She's just trying to do her job and like hype up this shop. Not working. She wasn't having it. No thanks. Here is part three of the trashiest Karens on the internet. Get the Does this guy just hate trumpets? Get up! No! This is so weird. So much. He is angry. How dare you come down here and do this? He said. Who hurt this man? I have so many questions. <laughs> that is very bizarre. You're right. Just to let you know, you are not allowed even to ride a pedal bike around here, let alone an electric bike. It disturbs the wildlife. By driving that around, you are possibly stopping birds breeding. So please don't do it. Okay. Also, I saw you earlier driving at an incredibly dangerous speed. Yeah. If I see you doing it again, I will call the police. Um, I'd Big. rather you call the police because the police told me to come in here. What? what? <gasps> oh my 
god, why did you end it there? No. <laughs> that needed so much more. Just that, what? He was about to go off. I don't know if he's a Karen, but I, I get the... I'm torn, okay? I agree with what he's saying, but also, like, who are you? Find your f***ing business, you know what I mean? But I want the birds to have their little babies. <laughs> I'm torn on this one. Oh, guys, I'm torn. Help me. that you're an old lady. I don't care if you're trying to finish your meal. You wanna be rude, you can eat in the parking lot. Can't just say whatever you want and think that there's no consequences for it. And he wasn't even mean, he was just direct. You know what I mean? Shout out to that guy. I have, I have to be right there. Wait, 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 wait. Just a day in the life, man. Just a day in the life. This is just a day on the TTC, no problem. Yeah, if you are if you ever come to Toronto or if you live in Toronto and you're like taking the subway and taking public transit, be prepared to fight for your life. <laughs> it is like the wild, wild west, I swear. What? Did you think you were just, no! You have more You can't get this board. What? Why? You had to get it at the office. Didn't you see the sign? I mean, listen, at least she like works at the school and this is the school rule. Uh, like, so at least she's not just like a random lady who just hates skateboarding. Cause I know Karen's hate skateboarding for some reason. Um, but at the same time, you can't take people's stuff and just not give it back. Even if you're mad, it doesn't work that way. Man, like, oh, wow. so annoying. People are so annoying. First of all, why are you freaking out over a McDonald's coffee? It's like $3 at the most. Also, why are you throwing a temper tantrum? Like you're a giant child. It's insane. And then to turn around and be like, my diabetes did it. Like, Karen, there are lots of people with diabetes who never act like that. So, what's the explanation for that, huh? Why you acting back? What, you following me to the station? Huh? What you call the station right now? What's your problem? What's your me? problem? No, what is your What's problem? What's your problem? What's your problem? You gonna call the station? Go ahead. What is even happening right now? What did I do? No problem. So random. That's so weird. I'm just as confused as she is. I liked the nice lady who was like, just keep going, keep going. There's something so funny about it being outside of the theater that has come from away. I don't know why, like, that show's just so good. It's so Canadian, like, it's like a happy, fun theater time. Well, it's not really a happy, fun theater time. It's actually heartbreaking and very sad and just powerful and crazy, but it's a musical theater performance and just angry right outside. <laughs> Dang. Yeah, there's a baby there. That's right. Yeah, there's a well, baby there. Well, you're gonna damage her hearing if you keep the hearing, if you keep the hearing. I know, but I'm in my car though. What is it to you? Because I'm in the car next to you, and I can't drive, so I can't get away from you, and I would like a bit of rest 
while my daughter's doing her shopping. So please turn the music down. This lady thinks that she can control the volume of the entire parking lot. Okay. Thank you. Okay, yeah, the music's off now, but like you didn't have to like come and like, like just be rude. I'm sorry you feel like that, but then that's just your impression of me. It's not yeah. a fact. Go to a nightclub where they can blast it out as loud as you like. Right. And it doesn't matter to me if you'll be deaf for three days afterwards. All right, thank you, Cameron. I mean, all the power to her, but I think she's gonna have a difficult time. <laughs> she wants to rest. She wants to just rest in the parking lot. It's not really how that worked. And also, I feel like if she approached this situation and just explained it, then maybe he would have moved or turned down the music or whatever. But like he said, she just came over kind of aggressively and rudely, and he didn't want to play that game. And I don't blame him. I'm walking down the street and you're yeah. being a weirdo. Yeah, you are a weirdo. Shouting at kids. Those are my friends. Those are children. No, they're not. You're cussing Show at not. me. That is me. Show not you are weird. Yeah, you're a weird You don't even know, you don't you even know who I am. snitch because I'll tell I'm Carl a snitch. Benchmark. I'm a snitch. I know who you are. Call Carl. I don't even He's know who dead. he is. So you're how are you going to call me. him? Over here with the call. That's some content right there. Yeah. Hit that thumbs up and uh, also comment down below what you think happened during that clip. Yeah, I have no idea. This seems to be like a neighbor beef. She was talking to some youngins and he stepped in. Got way too close for comfort also. If you're ever in a situation like that, don't get that close. You're not, this isn't a world star. This isn't a TMZ. You don't need to get that close to someone's face. Especially someone just wearing a cool necklace like that. Ayo, next. you are Okay, I gotta watch that again. Then we'll unpack this together. How does that sound? You are who you are because of men. You are who you are because of men. This is the behavior you expect from somebody wearing shorts in class, just leaning back, just not really, you know, I don't know. There's always that one kid in shorts. It's like, I mean, I live in Canada, so we have them a lot. It's always the one kid in shorts who's in class and he's freezing. His knees are shaking, walking to school. We're like, are you cold? He's like, no, I'm good, man, just Canada. Hey, brother. I'm like, no, put on, put on some pants. And also stop yelling at people while we're trying to learn in class. This is a wild clip. I have no idea. So he's yelling basically, you dress to look good for us. Like, okay, so you can tell by the room's reaction that he uh, lost that one immediately. So I don't have to say much on that one. Do not touch me, that is against the law. Stand up and come with me. Do not touch me, that is against the law. Going to the bare naked ladies. Please, people are saying I'm against the law. You touch me one more time, it's bad. Come with me. No, you are. You're making it worse on everyone around here okay it seems she's been there's a roar of applause so you know what in the beginning i was like man that's pretty aggressive but, I, but then again you didn't see the first 18 minutes of the scenario so i don't know what a waste of money to fight at a concert or like do anything because you've wasted like so much money and th these look like great seats too that's the worst part gosh it's just not what you expect to see on the subway but it also kind of is you know what i mean <laughs> i also like how uncomfortable somebody would it be to meet this person hey, somebody come get her. you know be a little maybe a little too close for comfort to that <laughs> what do you do in that situation do you get up and go do you just stick it out who's to say oh now you're bringing god into this what does your god think about you bullying service people Huh? It's none of your business. None of my business? You're bullying people. They're not at you a place what? to I'm tell you that you're new. up the media on you. You're phoning up the what? Phoning, phoning up the media, the media. You're phoning you. the media on me. So it looks like they're at a flower shop. How are you just like out here? <laughs> 
being rude at a flower shop. Just buy your roses and go, lady. Absolutely. Okay. Oh, you're phoning the media on me. What did I say to you that makes you feel like you're gonna oh, phone no, the no, media I'm on me? Not I'm not defending you. my people. I live in there. For context, this is the downtown gay village. Literally everybody has dyed hair and tattoos like me. Okay. Area. I live in the area years. too. I live here. You're trash in my eyes. Trash. <laughs> You're a troublemaker, nothing else. I'm a troublemaker to you because you're a rude ass. Oh. The seniors in my building, they love me. She is going off, off. Everyone in this situation is going off. Like the customer probably said something about her tattoos and dyed hair or whatever. I don't even know what to make of this one. You know what I mean? Like, it's just like, why? None of this needs to happen. You don't like tattoos and dyed hair, keep your opinion to yourself. It doesn't matter. I don't care. What's crazy is that it's not your body, so. You hire Gen Z's and they don't oh, take customers' BS oh, no more. Hold on, because I'm pissed off. I told this stupid idiot to put it in one bag. And he go hog in the bag. And he start cussing, I start cussing. She's going off, off. That don't give you the right to throw my goddamn money. You're stupid if they want to know You're a lying ass. You're your mama right now. Oh my gosh. They're just going off in the store. It looks like a dollar store. I don't know why. I feel like dollar stores are always green. Has anybody else noticed that? Like in Canada, we have a lot of dollaramas. So those are always green. Like show me a not green dollar store. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> just next level Karen freak out. She was coming for his mom, everything. What can we possibly be freaking out about at the dollar store? You know what I mean? We're gonna take you down. Getting down. All right. Awesome. Really, she's in the front. And she's got a standing sign. Thank you, because I was holding Oh, no, I, I'm not shy at all. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. This is so ridiculous. I mean, why would you need to be that high up when you're in the front? Obviously, because you just want attention. But it's just like, once she got down, we don't need any more comments. We'll just leave it at that. Everybody go your separate ways. You got what you wanted and that's it, okay? While I am on your side and I agree with you that when you're in the front, you probably don't need to stand up and block everyone's view. You got what you wanted. But maybe there was something else before that I missed. This girl at the airport waits until the queue moves all the way forward to move. People confronted her and she said, it's the same if I move now or later. <laughs> Why are some people so annoying? <laughs> just don't like while I understand what she's saying and she's technically right it's just so annoying because what if the line is so long then now it's spilling out of these things but really it could go you know what I mean you know what I'm trying to say I'm having trouble speaking today <laughs> it's just so lazy too why why would you not just inch forward like everyone else because it's technically not wrong it's just annoying that's all I just want to know when change became a non-valid US currency Money. I this can't receive money, money like that. This is money. No, you count. I did count. I'm telling you, this is a dollar. It's not Look, dollar. You can't count simply. It's easy, you man. You can't. I'm not doing it on purpose. This is what I have. Then you, I'm not selling this you. This is what I have. If you can't, don't count. You're not selling I, I'm me not because selling I'm you, okay? you. It really wouldn't take that long to count and like, just do it. It's money is money. You It's much harder not to look at. You know, I, I put in $50, $60 a week. Just because you see me doing this right now. I'm trying to survive my family. I'm trying to take care of my family. You're <laughs> providing for it. I am. The government is. They take it out of my church. Well, they don't. Okay. Contact your local senator and congressman and issue a complaint. Uh, Vote Republican. I can't. I'm sorry. I don't know what to tell you. Oh, uh, trust me. I am not a bleeding heart fucking liberal. They give it to you so that you vote that way. I'm not stupid. I have a degree. I'm pretty damn smart. You keep saying that over and over. Again. Someone's supposed to be proud of you or something. But I don't make the rules, lady. You don't have to. No, I don't. You're right. You just take advantage of them like everybody else. Well, why wouldn't I? Hmm. Yeah. Sure why wouldn't I? I'm good. Is this lady, oh, it says under the thing. It does, I can kind of see it, but I'm pretty sure that that's exactly what this is. The woman, the woman who works at the store is yelling at this guy for using food stamps. I have a degree. Lady, no one cares, shut up. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Like, also, just what the f man? This one really pissed me off. Wow, really, very much a Karen. Very Karen energy there. Wow, what an asshole. There's no reason for that at all. Y'all, this lady keep calling. Customer service. Okay, I don't know who you think you are that you think you can hang up in my face, but you're not gonna do it again. Okay. Get me a manager on this 
<laughs> Yo, she called to talk to a manager, right? All the managers are in a meeting. So I let her know that. She said, no, you're not going to hang up on me. So I hung up the first time. Then she just called back again and said what she said. Girl, you're, you don't have any power here. Customer service. I will have you all fired if you don't get me a manager. The managers are in a meeting, ma'am. Okay. Well, ma'am, you know what? I am not stupid. You have some... <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Like... Lady, I'm telling you what the answer is and you just don't want to hear it. I'm not getting the manager out of a meeting. Yes, I probably could for an emergency. Could leave your name and number and maybe I'll get one of them to call you back, but that's about all I'm willing to do for you. Also, I'm not even willing to do that if you think it's okay to talk to me like that. I like that. I will have you all fired. I'm like, lady, you're not even in the building. How do you think you're going to go about that? Good luck. Look at this crazy shit, man. Like, like, for real, bro. She want me to hit her. No, I just want you to put the refrigerator in the house. We lift that thing. We don't even have a dolly. Oh my gosh. Man, it's deliveries today. Deliveries. So, okay. So she's laying under his truck so that he can't leave because she doesn't know how to get the fridge into the house. I mean... I agree that the fridge delivery should include them like bringing it in, but you got to figure that out beforehand because it's not just going to automatically in be included. You got to like, you know, ask first or else you run into problems like this. I just would rather like call a friend <laughs> and ask for help than lay under somebody's truck. Also, you can't just prevent people from leaving. That's against the law. <laughs> That's just weird. That poor guy. That's honestly hilarious though. The, just the video is so bizarre. This is my van. This is the building. These are the forklifts. They are forklifts and they want me to hand bomb that out. They don't want to unload it. Well, I, I, I don't care. You don't care. You get arrested. You are not, you are not, you are not, you are not, look at you. You look at you. Look at you. This, this will go viral. All right? See this? Put a rejection that you cannot unload my trailer right now, my, my listen, van. Listen, okay. what you did right now, no, no. It's, a, it's a felony, it's an offense, and I can, I, yeah, yeah, take my picture, take my picture. They are not unloading me, they want me to hand bomb it, and they have forklifts inside that can instantly take the load. That's insane. That's crazy. Also, like, I like that that one guy's like, this is a felony. Like, he's the police. I'm like, mister, I'm not just gonna believe you. How would this be a felony? I'm here. I'm trying to do it. You won't help me. So I'm just gonna take it back home. UPS driver spits in customer's mailbox after seeing the pride flag displayed on their home. Yep. Let's see, uh, let's see this wonderful person here. You can tell by their sunglasses that they're, uh... This is just like, mask in the pocket. He's got the, I yell at my family sunglasses on. Yeah, you know what, this uh, buzzed haircut, I don't know, dare I say he looks the part. You can come back to court with your cargo shorts. Yeah, we got some DNA. Where, where'd we find that DNA? I don't know, it was in the mailbox. That's so wild. Who leaves DNA after they do that? Hate crime, bye. We need the original video. Not you. Yeah, um, this guy's wearing like a Goosebumps shirt and he's gonna approach. What's going on here? Again, we don't see the first, we don't see the first minute or two. This guy obviously came over. He knew what he was gonna say. There was some shit that happened on the road. But like, in what world would you ever put your fingers on a window in someone else's car? During a heated conflict, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, chill out, man. Those were some crazy Karens. We got some road rage Karens in there sprinkled in. I'm gonna go yell at somebody in traffic. See you later. I'm giving you a freebie right now that you shouldn't wear that. Thank you. There's a lot of guys out there that do ride for real clubs that this conversation would go a lot different. So I'm just letting you know ahead of time. So I should take it from you right now. But you don't really look like you knew, so I'm going to give you your one warning. But at least that way you know that if someone does stop you and you get your face kicked in, at least that way you know why. Just an FYI, like you might be a respectable guy, but putting that on is a disrespectful move for people around motorcycles. I can understand that. 
So if you could actually do me a huge favor and take that off right now and just put it in your back seat or something or put it in your trunk. This is so cringy. <laughs> This is so cringy. Listen, I don't know anything about riding motorcycles or motorcycle culture or anything like that, but like, I feel like it's a bit of a stretch to be like, that's disrespectful. Maybe I'm just missing something and I don't know, so y'all can explain it to me down below in the comments like you always do, but I'm just saying, leave him alone. Also, I'm really glad. I was like expecting the whole time for that guy to light up his cigarette at the gas station and I was really concerned. I was really concerned, but I'm glad he didn't because, uh, you know, it's obviously bad. Wait a chaotic man I don't even know what to say or do oh my gosh I need like all of the backstory behind this this is one of the best videos I've ever seen people are crying people are screaming people are being misgendered like it is all over the joint I don't even know what to make of this this is absolute chaos and there's definitely way too many drinks that were had by everyone in that video oh yeah I saw this one last week Ball. If you don't like it, then go back. If you don't like it, why don't you stop parking in the street and everything else? Like what? Like what? So we went from lacrosse ball, and then they were like chill, and then so she brings up the parking in the street because you know she's got to have something to yell about. We're on our property. We're on our property. Are you the friend across the street that never even could be social because you're friendly with these people? <laughs> and now she's coming for this guy, talking about how he's not social enough. <laughs> Everyone's getting that smoke. Everyone is getting that smoke. Karen is not having it. She doesn't want no part of anyone's BS. <laughs> she's going off off. That video is very funny. Oh, what's going on here? No, I told you not to park on my private property. This is public street parking. Oh, you did not just honk at me. That has to be fake. Please tell me that's fake. I'm waiting. I'm waiting as if you're gonna tell me that it's fake, but <sighs> you're not here. No, I just went- taking down flags from school. Why are you taking it down? Okay. Why? People are so weird. Like, why? Why would you spend your time doing that? It's so weird. It is so weird. I hope that there's like some rule against this. You know what I mean? Some way that she got in trouble for doing this. Cause right now she's just, you know, obviously getting confronted and questioned, but no consequences. I want there to be consequences for Karens and their crazy behavior. Ah, a Karen stormed into our Christmas party. Imagine just walking into somebody's house. They all turned around so quickly, so confused. Oh. What? In, in, in the house? That's insane. Imagine just walking in. You could totally have knocked, but you just chose not to. Oh my God. Yeah, no. They handled it more calmly than I would have, I feel like. You are repairing other people's vehicles in your neighborhood, in your house, and that's against bylaws, all right? So, Karen's always need to get involved right in business, business that is isn't theirs. That one is mine, oh, and that one is all. Yes, they are. If I were to they run are. a vehicle check on that, you can do whatever it is you want to do, lady. If I were to run a vehicle check, I'm like, who are you to run a vehicle check, Karen? But go right ahead. Like, what do you want? I'm fixing cars in my own garage. God forbid. Okay. 
But do me a favor, mind your own business and stay on your side of the street. Bringing down mm -hmm. the property values of all, everybody around here. Is it really me? Well, hopefully you're you? selling because I don't want to live mm -hmm. around you anymore. I work at night. I work at night. What a weirdo. What a weirdo. Why are you asking me about his schedule? If somebody asked me, well, why are you going out at this time? I'd be like, why are you stalking me? I would take that to the police and be like, my neighbor is making me really uncomfortable. Well, that's nice. Okay. I don't know what you do, but okay. it doesn't matter. You're right, it doesn't, doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. What a weirdo. She's strange. Oh, how do you not stand up for that song? Women. Okay, two women who have named Karen and Susan freak out over audience members at a talent show did not stand up for recording of the song Proud to be an American, not a song people typically stand up for. I was thinking it was the national anthem this whole time, but it's just the song Proud to be an American. This is recorded after Karen screamed at the crowd during the whole song. The song was played after the national anthem, which everyone stood up for. They are not referring to the national anthem. People refused to stand because of the fact that they were being yelled at. Karen claims it's the 4th of July when it was actually the 5th. That's so hilarious. The whole time I was thinking it was the national anthem and I still disagreed with her. Like I do, you know, whatever. If it was me, I would stand for the national anthem, whatever. But also, it's none of my business if you don't stand for the national anthem. It's, uh, it does not, if you're just at a random bar, it's none of my business if you stand for the national anthem or not. Like what in the world? But it's not even the national anthem. <laughs> That is just a drunk lady who wants to be angry. That's it. That's what that is. Oh my gosh, people are crazy. That poor, that husband who has to deal with that? Nope. I would not. I couldn't. 